Hey guys, I'm Colin Healy. I'm a style correspondent with Broken Suave. I'm here to show you how to tie a tie. Right now, we're gonna go with the half Windsor, a little more casual than the full Windsor, so maybe wear this one on a night out with friends. Now I'm gonna take you through some step-by-step -step instructions, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna start with the seam on the inside, uh, laying against your neck, fat side on the left, skinny side on the right. I'm right-handed, so that's how I do it. If you're left-handed, you might wanna switch it up. I like to start with the skinny side about halfway down my stomach. Again, this is personal preference, and um, I'm a certain height. If you're taller, it might work differently for you. You might wanna switch it up, but halfway down works for me. Then we're gonna take the fat side and lay it on top of the skinny side, like you see here, and you're gonna form an X. All right, so here we are with the two ends forming an X. Once we have the X, the next step is gonna be pulling that fat end up and through the loop. And once we pull it down and get it tight, it's gonna look a little bit like this. All right, so once we've got that fat end pulled down, we're gonna wrap it around the back of the knot that we created. All right, so let's take the fat end and cross it over the front of our knot. All right, so now that we have the front of our knot created, we're gonna take that fat end and go up through that neck loop and then down underneath the front layer of our knot. As you can see, it's underneath that front layer. We can start to pull down and once we're down, we can start to shape our knot. And as you can see there, that's a little asymmetrical, but that's the casual look that you're going for here. Hey, thanks for watching. For more quick tips, check out BrokeAndSuave.com. Now as a bonus, here's what it looks like to tie this tie from your perspective.